morning. Good morning, folks. 6.52, Wednesday morning. Coach Michael Burt. We believe everybody needs a coach. We believe a good coach can change everything. We believe you won't go as hard as you can, man, unless you have somebody there in your life creating a little bit of tension in your life. That's the power of a coach. Having conversations with you you may not want to have, getting you to do some things you may not want to do, man, helping you become something you didn't think you could become. So it's Wednesday morning, a big day for me today because I got Purpose to Profit starting at 10 a.m. And we've got four or 500 people that are gonna be on the Purpose to Profit with me. And I'm gonna be showing them as straight of a line as I can uh, Thomas C. Davidson to go from, from from having their purpose find them to taking it all the way to profit at some point, which would mean excess cash by the end of, uh, by the end of the day. But I was thinking right in the middle of my workout this morning, because that's when I get my morning drives. I was thinking for all the people out there who go, man, I don't want to commit. It's going to be a lot of work. I don't want to go that hard. I don't want to push that much. Right, John Hart? For all the people that say that, because I know people are thinking it, uh, Thomas C. Davidson, some of the people are thinking, man, I don't want to do, I don't want to, Coach Bird, I like I like listening to him and watching him, but I don't do, I want to do the work. And I'm just going to tell you, uh, right, Christopher, I've never, I've never gotten anything in life worth having without commitment and sacrifice. Okay, I want to tie two words together. You, we hear a lot of people use the word passion, Amanda Beaner. Another word for passion is sacrifice. Sacrifice is the willingness to give something up to get something. And so a lot of people say, I want to get something. I want to get a nicer car. I want to get a better house. I want to stay in nice hotels. I want to get a private jet. I want to get it, but I'm not willing to give something up. And you start asking, what do I have to give up, man? What do I have to give up? Time, money, energy, commitment. What's up, Mama Mayo? So I, I see a lot of people kind of say that, man. They say, man, I want to ha have something, but I'm not willing to give up something. And because of that, they, they uh, good morning, Diva, they just stay where they are and complain about it. So they don't, they don't really want something better. They just think they want something better because that something better is going to require time, money, energy. See, when you hear me use the word commitment, what I'm really saying is a commitment of resource. A commitment of resource. That resource could be time. It could be energy. It could be money. It could be you got to give up a Saturday, a, a weekend. You got to put some, you got to, you got to exert some force. This is the best way I know how to say it. You got to exert some kind of force. Like this morning, I didn't want to get up and, and get in the gym, but I want a more defined body. I want um, to, to, to go at 100%. I want, right? Well, I got to give something up. Get out of bed, drive into town, get pushed by a coach. And that is the part that's missing. So if you're out there and you're thinking, man, I just can't convert like Coach is telling me to convert. I can't convert my purpose to my profit for some reason. It's because you're afraid of commitment. You're afraid of committing to something because you think it's going to be too hard. Or you're going to have to exert too much force or it's going to cost too much money. And so that one thought, that that fear of commitment to seeing something through. Or here's another one I hear. Man, I've, man, I've heard all that before. Yeah, but it doesn't matter how much you've heard if you're not doing it, man. Or I've tried things before and they didn't work. Well, they didn't work, folks, because you didn't work them. The diet didn't work because you didn't work it. The job didn't work because you didn't work it. The, the, the investment didn't work because you didn't work it. See, at the end of the day, things work when you work them. And that requires that commitment. And so, so many people go, man, I just don't know if I want to get up early and make X number of calls and have outbound effort. And that's okay. But you can't, but you can't expect to have this without this. Covey used to say, when you pick up one end of the stick, you pick up the other end, Chris. Scared money don't make no money. So, a commitment, let's go back to our concept. But commitment today, I'm going to coach Purpose to Profit. We're going to have four to 500 people on there. You're still invited to get in. It starts at 10 o'clock. It's a formula. It's a framework. It's a process. It's my Purpose to Profit formula. Exactly what I used to go from being a, yep, a you know, broke high school basketball coach 
to, to where we are today. And it's it's step by step, man. Step one, you do this. Step two, you do this. Step three, you do this. Step four, because that's what people are looking for. But the steps have got to be backed up by a commitment. You may get into the commitment, and you may say, man, i got to spend some money, more money on marketing. Yes, you do. Man, i got to go hire some more people. Yes, you do. Man, i got to expand and get a bigger office. Yes, you do. Man, i got to get on a plane and go, go somewhere to get some business. Yes, you do. Man, i got to do some stuff for free that I don't know I'm going to get paid on. Yes, you do. Okay, when I first started this speaking business, I literally would speak anywhere they would have me. I, and I mean anywhere, folks. Rotary clubs, um, uh, exchange clubs. Um, I mean, literally anywhere I could anywhere I could speak, I would speak just to get in front of people. And I didn't know it at the time. But but it but I've come to understand that you don't need more money, you need more people. The people have the money, but you gotta get in front of the people any way you can. And you gotta solve a problem for them. And if you don't solve a problem for them, then Linda, they don't exchange any of their money with you. It's just that simple. Money changes hands when problems are solved. You drive up the probability by locating problems, making outbound effort, marketing and, and distribution. But so many people are scared of that, that one part, man. I think it's just going to be tough. And, I, and and therefore, why even start? So let's go back to this concept of, of grit. If you look up the word grit and the work that Duckworth, Duckworth did in the book Grit, she basically said grit is just a, just a passion, which is sacrifice, right, Chad? And a perseverance. It's the willing to just keep doing it over and over and over. And so, my point to you this morning is if those words have ever come out of your mouth, man, I just don't know if I can commit to this. What you're really doing subconsciously is you're kind of giving yourself an out to either not do it or when it don't work, you can say, man, I wouldn't commit to it. Things that don't work in my life are things I'm not committed to. They're things I'm obligated to. And there's a big difference between obligation and commitment. Obligated is like I got to do it, man. I don't want to do it. My heart's not involved in it. Commitment is I'm in. A hundred. I'm in. Maybe not a hundred percent because you don't have to be a hundred percent committed to, to go do something, man. You say, well, what do you mean? Well, man, so there's been times I was at eighty percent, and I thought it was still better than some people's hundred percent. So I'm fighting for you. If you're out there and you're saying, man, I haven't found my purpose. I don't know how to make money with my purpose. I don't know how to package it. I don't know how to generate leads. I don't know. You should pick up a ticket. I don't know what they are. 37 bucks, 57 bucks. Purpose to profit uh, event. I'll post it in the link. Get in there today, man, and watch it. Get in there tomorrow and watch it. Quit just floundering around if that's what you're doing. Uh, you can stop the floundering and you can, you can make a decision to go pro and you can leave your amateur desires behind. And you can make a simple decision, man, and back that decision up every day with a commitment. Every day with a commitment. So, 10 a.m. this morning, Purpose to Profit. It's going to be two great days. I'm going to coach my little heart out for these people. It's probably going to be four or 500 people on there. And they're searching, man. They got something they want to do. They want to speak. They want to coach. They want to train. They want to write books. They want to become a person of interest in the world. They want to play at a higher frequency. Okay, and that's the whole reason we developed this two-day virtual. You don't have to get in a car. You don't have to drive anywhere. You, get, you, you just get up and you get in front of that computer and you interact with me. And you do that for, for two days. And I'm telling you, man, this could be the one thing. I looked at the results from the people that went through the first purpose to profit. Wow. It was ridiculous. Now, when I say ridiculous, I mean ridiculous. It's people who committed. They committed. They showed up. They did the work. Then we had some people... Don't commit, don't show up, don't do the work. And then they gotta blame somebody. So then somebody's gotta be me. But let me but but let me let you know something. I ain't accepting the blame when I show up <laughs> and other people don't show up. <laughs> All right, purpose to profit today at 10 o'clock. Two days with me. 400, 500 people are gonna be on there. Will you be one of them? 37, 57 bucks, folks. Get it. Grab it. Get it. You don't get this kind of coaching. At this price, uh, Chad Free is a great example. He can tell you exactly how he found his purpose through the coaching, exactly how he's taking it all the way to profit, man. Okay, it's clear once you dig in with me and once you come in. All right, guys, let's have an incredible day. I believe in you. Everybody needs a coach. Okay, good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's go do this. Have a great day, guys. 
before I get started, there is one very important question I have to ask you. Coach Michael Burt, Monster Producer Academy CEO. He's a personal friend of mine. What good is it to have knowledge with no desire? What good is it to have desire with no skill? What good is it to have knowledge and skill with no confidence? A big part of activating your prey drive is finding and refining your talent. This is something that helps you get to the next place. People are made up of four parts, a body, a mind, a heart, and a spirit. You need to know you, and then you need to have an awareness, and sometimes you don't even know what you need. So all four parts of our nature have to be clicking. Your hard skill solves my problem. The bigger the problem, the more money people are paid to solve it. Everything is valuable to your future. What I'm really paying you for is your past. A monster producer combines multiple skills to dominate a market. When you get to wake up every day and do what you love doing, man, it is hard not to be motivated. They think at a higher ordinance than everybody else. They want to create new things. I have a conviction about me, and that's the conviction that you feel when I talk, when I speak. It comes across as passion. You got to learn how to connect to another person at such a deep level that it moves them. You have goals, you have targets, but you don't have a sense of urgency. They're going to exchange money, energy. They're going to raise capital. They're going to start new businesses. There's going to be joint ventures. I think your purpose finds you. It is activated. The word activate means to initiate. Discipline, which is a derivative of the word disciple, which means to give yourself to a person or cause you believe in. Do you believe in your future, yes or no? When we know better, we do better. Finding the problem that you are uniquely qualified to solve, and you don't know what problem you really solve for whom, then there is no big financial exchange right there. You should leave here thinking bigger today than when you came. And I want to shake your hand and look you in the eyeball when you make this decision. Thank you. We'll see you in the back. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.